Hello, this is Dr. Dorenzo. I want to welcome you back to your anger management course. This is session eight, uh, the final session for the this eight session course, as well as a course review. Some of you may be taking an extended course um, and may have some supplemental material to review following this. If not, um, you're, and you're taking our regular eight session anger management course, then this is basically a course review and the last segment to this class. So let's first talk about uh, what we learned last time and we talked about the anger in the family um, and how past social learning affects current behavior and hopefully through your assignments um, you thought about what you wanted to change because of that uh, dysfunctional modeling. And not that all modeling was dysfunctional, you probably learned a lot of positive things from the family too, but in this course we're focusing more on the dysfunctional. And let's check in as well. Let's think about and, and uh, remember what, what number we reached on the anger meter over the past few days or past week. Describe the specific event that led to this. What were some of the cues you felt or experienced? And try to state one or two from each of the four categories. What kind of technique did you use to try and control your anger? Alright, so let's move into a course review. And let's reflect about the skills you have acquired and the changes you have made in better managing your anger. I know that many things are, st are starting to stick. Uh, when we go through this over and over again, you know, just listening to these lessons, I know there's a lot of redundancy. Uh, but with that redundancy, um, is part of the practice, is part of over practicing, which helps us master things. So, hopefully, we're beginning to really become aware of the cues and really being aware um, of how we think about anger and we know what tools we have and what tools we prefer the most to use and what are effective for us. So to review the anger meter, remember a great way to improve your anger is to identify it, organize it, and put it the and put the anger meter to use. So again that explosive phase is not until we reach up to nine or ten. And we want to keep our anger four, three, two, breathe and bring it back down to one. We don't want to get higher than that. We don't want to be in that red zone. Cues to anger. Remember our cues to anger help recognize when our anger is escalating so that we can begin to use strategies to attempt to control it. And remember there are physical cues, behavioral cues, emotional cues, and cognitive cues. We always have to have an anger control plan. This is your own unique plan to control your anger. You should pick tools that work best for you, whether it is to be the timeout or the ABCD model. This is the plan that should keep you from reaching a 10 on the anger meter. If you do reach a 10, it might be time to practice your tools more or change up your anger control plan. And here we have the aggression cycle. Let's give you a couple seconds here to look at it. I'm not going to repeat it. I've repeated it many times. Just want to stay out of that explosion phase and the post-explosion phase. Cognitive restructuring. We need to reconstruct our cognition because that is a big part of our anger problem. We do this by examining or simply stopping the thoughts that have become automatic to us. The ABCD model is a systematic process to attempt to dispute our automatic and irrational beliefs. And then we've also talked about thought stopping. Simply stopping our automatic thoughts. And again, the best way is to use distraction as a thought stopping technique. Conflict resolution model. This is a five-step assertiveness training model that should be practiced over and over so that it becomes a learned behavior. Remember, 
we identify the problem, identify the feelings, identify the impact of the problem, decide whether to resolve the conflict, and then finally work for resolution of the conflict. Okay, that's if we feel like we should or it can be resolved. And we want to review your anger control plan. Rate each component of your anger control plan by describing its usefulness and familiarity. Okay, you don't necessarily have to rate this, but let's just think about how well it served us. Uh, do we need to change it at this point, or are you satisfied with what it is now? And it's okay to get help to balance cognitive, behavioral, and preventative strategies. Right? You can ask for help for other people. And it's okay to seek professional help, too. There are a lot there are many psychologists, mental health counselors, social workers, other types of therapists that would certainly be willing to help you. Other helpful tips. We want to always decrease our alcohol intake, abstain from drugs, get eight hours of sleep, abstain from using tobacco. It's you know, we know that it's a stimulant, yes it feels good, but when we go through withdrawal symptoms, when we're out of tobacco, we get irritable, hostile, and have more trouble managing our anger as well. We want to eat a balanced diet. We want to exercise three to five times per week as well. These things all help with, with anger. And again, consider seeing a psychologist uh, or therapist if anger management techniques uh, continue to be a problem or your anger management continues to be a problem. And remember that managing anger is often a lifelong process that takes practice and motivation. Don't forget the many consequences, if not resolved as well, as the many rewards, if resolved. Yeah, there's a lot of benefits to being better able to manage your anger. Right? You, it, you have, end up with much better relationships with lots of other people, and you certainly go further in life. Congratulations, you've successfully completed this eight-step anger management program. So in this session, at the end, there's no exercises to be completed. Um, however, I do, in order to get credit, in order to receive a certificate for this program, I either want to get some type of electronic copy, or you can mail me a copy of all of the, of the answers of all of your exercises so I know that you did the exercises, or you can complete the anger management examination uh, that is right after this this session video the the link is below um, and after you take this examination um, my office is contacted uh, immediately and we should be able to send out a an electronic certificate uh, within about 24 business hours so again, thank you very much. I've uh, enjoyed our time together. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. If you have any questions, please email us at admin at livebetterjacks.com or you can call our Jacksonville, Florida number at 904-379-8094. Thank you again. This concludes um, the, the regular anger management uh, eight-session course. Um, Again, if you have supplement material that you are expecting to take, um, that will certainly follow um, on from from this session on your in your uh, course. So, again, best of luck to you. Thank you.